Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Borderlands 3 running on the i5 1135G7. Now originally I was going to be doing the pre-sequel, you know, before this one, but the pre-sequel is pretty much just Borderlands 2. So I figured, well, let's just jump straight to the third one where there's actually some differences here. And this is running at 720p, the absolutely lowest preset that it can go to. And the performance is... Eh... It's better than I was honestly expecting. I thought that we were going to be getting much worse than this. This is, for the most part, playable. Like, while playing, there wasn't any, like, super major issues that I just felt like I could not play like this. This isn't like a, an Aliens, like, Fireteam Elite experience where it was just really not amazing. You know, like, not playable at all. This is actually playable, just barely we are at the edge there you'll see those one percent lows kind of brutal those averages kind of brutal the fps right now in the 30s that's not exactly the greatest experience ever especially since we're at 720p so overall i would say that we are pretty much just at the edge of what most people would consider to be remotely playable you know like if you're very very like sensitive to fps this just isn't it, you know, this is not going to be even remotely a decent experience. So really, it's up to you at this point. Honestly, while playing it, I thought it felt better than what those numbers show, but you will have those occasional stutters there. So it can get brutal sometimes, and that's really not what you want to see when you're playing a first-person shooter, you know? And especially if you have other people that you're playing with, if you're playing co-op, you're all using abilities and stuff like that it's gonna get hectic and it's gonna run into issues so i honestly feel like this is really just pushing it it's what i was expecting from the third game i was expecting it to have issues here one thing i gotta mention is that this is running at directx 11. directx 12 i tested it i ran the in-game benchmark for the dx 12 and dx 11 with the absolutely lowest preset and dx 12 was getting noticeably worse one percent lows the one percent lows were about five frames per second lower where on the D dx11 i think on average because i ran each one three times on average dx11 was getting around 15 frames per second while you know dx12 went down to about nine so noticeable noticeable drop there really it's these big open areas that kind of just tank the frame rate because when you're in a more enclosed space like a, there was a boss fight earlier that i was just doing and there we were getting 40s and 50s on average in the fps but once you're in these big open areas which a lot of the game is going to take place in places like this you're going to run into these issues i would just say this is, game is not playable here you could drop the resolution more if you want you know i actually don't remember if this has like an in-game resolution scaler but you're really just pushing what you can do here honestly i would say not really all that playable you know i had a much better experience with both borderlands one and two i think three is just in the territory of just maybe don't you know just wait until uh or better yet lock the frame rate to 30. If you're one of those people that like can stomach 30 frames per second in a first person shooter especially if you're playing with like a controller or something you can get away with it having like a like if you grew up playing on a playstation 3 or an xbox 360 like i did you know what it's like to play first person shooters at like less than 30 frames per second i mean one of my favorite games on the playstation 3 was actually kill zone 2 and that game felt like you were playing at 10 frames per second now, part of that was just the fact that the game had a horrific input lag, but you felt very, very heavy. And the game, I mean, it's still one of, it was one of my favorites at the time, you know? So, if that's what you're experiencing and that's all you know, you can get away with this. But if you're someone who has experienced 60 frames per second regularly, above 60, you know, you've played games at like 90, 100, 120 frames per second, you're going to notice this a lot, you know? I mean, me personally, I play on a 144 hertz, like 1440p monitor on my regular machine. So this was noticeably bad, but I have like 
kind of a tolerance for like lower FPS just because of the fact that that was a lot of my childhood there. So I think if I was a kid and this was the only way I could play this game, I would power through, you know, I would power through and eventually I wouldn't even really like notice it. Like my brain would just adjust to this. But as it stands now, I think you're going to have a much better experience playing the other Borderlands games than this. But anyways, that is it for me. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Be sure to check out those affiliate links down below if you'd like to support this channel. And I'll see you guys.